The question for this lesson is how do we communicate data that we've fetched from here into our render function? If you're coming from the last lesson and you said set state, you are correct. We'll use component state to hold state between our lifecycle events and our renders. First, we need to set up an initial state. Again, we'll use the constructor for that. We always call super first and then set up our instance state. In this case, we'll keep a character and by default, it will be null. Now let's close our console because we're not going to log this out anymore. We were going to set it on state. So once we get our Pokemon, we want to call set state with it. Set state lives on the component. So we call it through this. And we're going to use that object form that we learned first because we know the whole value that we want to put in state. So we'll say the new character is the one that we get from data. Now in our render method, we should have that character on state. So we can use our curly braces to type a JavaScript expression, which will be this dot state dot character. And let's use the name. Now we're getting an error in our Pokemon component. Now I can tell you from experience that the reason is that we're calling name on null. Before we get the Pokemon, we're trying to render this component, but there's no name yet. Now we can fix that just by providing an initial value. That's fine, but you could see how it could become cumbersome. So let's uh, take that back out and get the error again, get back in our error state. Now in our render function, we can decide what to render using a ternary. So if we have a Pokemon on state, we'll render the Pokemon as we have defined here. However, if we don't, let's display a message like loading. To say that, hey, work is happening, but it might take a second. Now I'm checking for the wrong thing, so this could take forever. So what we're looking for is character. That's what we put on state. And without fail, we get our character. Now that's tiny. I'm going to bump that up. I'm going to use an H1, a proper heading for our Pokemon. 